Tell me, because in America, we have the debate going on right now, uh, Medicare for all, universal health care. It's been a very contentious topic. Uh, the conservatives tend to say this is socialism and the end of freedom. And they, they look at other countries in Europe and say it's been a disaster. Um, and now Bernie Sanders, uh, more progressive politicians, and some more in the center. Uh, uh, yesterday uh, introduced uh, legislation to make single payers. So I've been talking to different Europeans about the system here. Uh, kind of seems like it's not something people really think about because it's just part of life. It's always been part of life that healthcare is part of being a citizen. Correct. Right. Do you, uh, <laughs> do you, what, what are your thoughts on you know America? Because in Europe and other places they say America is like this big economic superpower and uh, you know you hear Americans talk about we're the envy of the world but a lot of Europeans I speak to it, it seems unthinkable that you know citizens don't have health care what, what are your thoughts yeah of course I mean uh, um, the United States have a different tradition in, in many ways and even in healthcare. care um, so for us uh, as Europeans um, it's it's normal part of life I think it's uh, it's important that people who get harmed or ill, that uh, they are not le left alone. Um, so there's a public and a private uh, system in, in, in Germany. And um, as you said before, it's normal part of, of our society and nothing we even think about a lot, uh, because if, if, you're, if you're ill, you go to, uh, to the doctor. Um, and um, uh, yeah, sometimes you, you have to pay a certain amount of money by yourself, but it's, it's never the biggest part of it. And I mean, you pay on a regular basis as a as, as working person um, and the money goes to, uh, to the healthcare system. Um, and that's why uh, yeah, you, you, you pay in it. And if you get ill or sick, then you, you profit from that. And if you never get ill or sick, then you finance uh, the other people. But uh, this is like uh, unemployment or, or other things where you have this uh, um, social way of, of doing it. Yeah. And it seems to me it also would help the economy because, you know, you're not stuck in a job in America. A lot of people just stay in a job so they can have health insurance through their employer. But here you get more freedom. Uh, it's not a consideration. You know, mm. if you want to try different things, you, you know, you have health insurance so you don't have to stay in, in one area. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. And um, in terms of just uh, the budget in Germany or, or other countries, uh, has it has it hurt certain areas that the government pays for health care? Because uh, in America, the people who are against it seem to say, oh, this is going, it, it's so much money that the government's going to have to spend. It's going to hurt education, uh, infrastructure, uh, all sorts of different things. Uh, whereas in Europe, uh, it seems like Germany and other countries seem to be operating. Yes, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite into it, how much of uh, the system is paid by government and how much is paid by the people. As I said before, every every working person is uh, um, is giving a monthly fee into the system. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah, I, I would have to look up the percentage of, uh, um, of of how much that makes of, um, of of the money needed. Yeah, but but anyway, there's no um, harm or anything um, with with our system. So it, I think it works quite well and for for many decades now. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Europe, is it, it? It seems like it's more of um, it's it's just more in the culture that healthcare is, is a right, just as a human being, instead of a privilege. Would you say that? Yeah, yeah, I would say that it's one of the ground rights you have. Um, um, yeah, I really, I cannot imagine a society where somebody who's sick or ill um, cannot afford being cured and uh, dies or anything. So uh, yeah, sounds weird to me.